today I'm going to show you how I install this vice on my workbench. Now I purchased this vice on Amazon and I'll put links in the description below if you want to purchase the same thing. But when I purchased it, I was looking for three things for a vice. One of them being that it was very heavy duty and it works really, really well, which it does. I'm happy to say that. Two, um, there was a very um, easy to install, which it was, was very easy to install. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. And then number three it was important to me that it comes with all the parts. I looked up many vices and most of them, they come with all the metal hardware, but you have to make your own wooden things. And I didn't want to have to do that. I wanted something that comes with everything in a kit. And this one, it did. It came with absolutely everything. It was easy to install and it's super, super solid. So let's see how I did this. Now this vice comes with everything you need in the box. When you first open the box, you will find the vice part that comes fully assembled, but you do have to disassemble it in order to put this uh, piece of wood. So you have to unscrew these bolts and put this piece of wood over here. You get the handle part, and then you get the screws to attach it to your bench. Now, in order to be able to attach this vice to your workbench, you need to have at least four inches and three eighths overhang uh, from your bench. And I did not have that. My bench only had three inches overhang. Now I built this workbench, uh, was one of my first projects and it only had three inch overhang. This workbench, if you want the plans, I got it from Steve Ramsey's uh, YouTube channel. He has plans for it. And uh, his YouTube channel, I think it's called The Weekend Woodworker. So I built this bench, but the overhang was only three inches, like I said. So I took the top off. I have it over here. The top was 60 inches by 24 inches. And I built myself a new top. And this top is 60 inches by 27 inches. And with this new top, I should have plenty of overhang to attach my vise. So in order to attach the vise, I had to make three holes over here. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Now, if your workbench has an um, apron like mine does, you can take a jigsaw and cut an opening over here for your vise to go under the bench, under the bench top. Uh, what I did, I didn't cut a slot. What I did, I just made three holes and those will allow these uh, tubes to go in there. For the three holes, you can see the one in the middle, it is larger than the two on the sides. So for that, I used, I used a one and a half Fustner bit to make the middle hole. And then I use a one inch fastener bit to make the side holes. And that will allow for my vise to go in there. And then using the screws, I'll be attaching it to these four holes over here to the top of the bench. Now, when I know the bench position, I did not allow the overhang here yet because I need to mark where I need to screw in the vise. So for that, I will take a pen and I'm going to place the vise in here and through the holes, make sure it goes through the holes. And then I want to make sure I mark where this is going. So it's going to be somewhere from here to here. Something like that, anywhere in there. I have a little bit of room for error. So something right in between, between there will be good. Now I'm going to take out this bolt so I can put that piece of wood in here. There goes one. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. All right. There goes the rods, and now I have to unscrew this one. Let's see, I take this device out, and then I screw this all the way. Now, with the vise taken apart, it's time to attach this piece of wood. The piece of wood has some pre-drilled holes on one side. There is not on the other side. So those pre-drilled holes, they will go towards your base, just like that. The base will sit like this and you will see the pre-drilled holes will match this hole. They will align perfectly. The dog holes of the wood piece goes up. So if you have dog holes on your bench, you can use that. 
And then it's time to attach the base back just through those holes, just like before. We'll just screw it right in and there. I find it's easier to just screw the base than trying to use the little handle. So I have the piece of wood. I have the metal base. And now the rods goes back this way through those holes. And same with this one. This thing is well greased, you can see on my hands. All right, just like that, through the holes. And then we need to tighten it again with the bolts provided. Now I'll be using four of the provided screws and I will, you know, attach this wood board through the pre-drill holes to the metal frame. For that, I'll be using this handy dandy electric screwdriver. I really recommend this. I would leave it on the description below. I have carpet tunnel on my hands and this really, really saved my hands. So that's what I will be using. Now it's time to attach the vise to the tabletop. I flip the top upside down, that way I'm working on the underside top uh, side of the table and it's a lot easier to do it this way. I also close the vise completely, that way I can use this wood as a edge guide to just stay flash on the edge of the table. And I make sure the metal bracket is in between those uh, pencil marks that we did a little bit earlier. And then I'll pre-drill some holes. Now with the vise flat and with pre-drilled holes, I'm gonna use the same electric screwdriver and I'm going to drive in the screws to secure the vise. You can see how well this uh, screwdriver works. It's very, very easy to use. It works perfect. I absolutely love it. Great. Now we successfully attach the vise to the tabletop. It's time to flip the tabletop back on its normal side. Now I flip the top backwards, uh, right side up, and now the vise is securely attached to the top, but it's time to attach the handle. The handle just simply goes through this groove and you can put a little bit of wood glue to secure this bulb on the end. Now, because my top is made of plywood, I need to do something to make this stronger. I do not trust that this edge grain is going to be strong enough to, you know, not fall apart over time. If your bench top is made of solid wood, then you can stop here and you have a perfectly working vise. My first thought was to cut a notch with a jigsaw and put a piece of, you know, maple, hard maple, to make sure that this part over here is very strong. Now, I'm too lazy and I don't really want to do that. So what I will do instead is just use this uh, cherry piece. This is just a one and a half by three quarter cherry piece. And I will just glue it to the edge of my table. And then as we close the vise, we have two hard woods that will pinch the work there. And I feel like that's going to be a lot, you know, better and stronger and work so much better than just my plywood edge. So I need to cut this piece of cherry to the same length of this piece of wood and then just glue it onto the edge of my workbench. So that's what I will be doing next. First, I will mark on how much I need to cut out of this. Let's see, I'll keep that edge over there. That looks like a better edge. And I'll mark it to cut it around here. And now with our piece cut to size, I will just glue it to my edge of my bench. I use this handy dandy spreader, my fingers, just like that. And now I will put my piece of cherry right over here. And guess what, you guys, I do not need a clamp 
because I have this handy dandy. Whoops, I really need to glue that ball in place. But I have this handy dandy vise that will just keep my piece in place until it dries up, just like that. Okay, now it's time to, you know, glue our handle in place. I'm going to put a little bit of wood glue just in the hole over here, just like that. Put this through the hole and secure it. Just like that. Now I'm going to put a clamp in here just so the gravity doesn't take place and make this ball slide, slide off. So I'm going to put this clamp here and this will just make it stay there and we'll let it dry. Now I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.